Humanity has created thousands of things in the world, and in today's iceberg, we will be exploring into the most large things man-made has created. This iceberg also goes into concept creations or envisioned creations, so, without further to do, this is the large man-made things iceberg explained. Layer 1 Burj Khalifa Burj Khalifa is a skyscraper in Dubai, United Arab Emirates that has been the tallest building in the world since 2010 to today. United Arab Emirates wanted to differ from just an oil-based economy, so they decided to build the Burj Khalifa in Dubai to attract thousands of tourists, and it worked, the UAE economy doubled in 2010 when the Burj Khalifa was opened. The Burj Khalifa has a total height of 828 meters, and over 12,000 people constructed the building daily from 2004 to 2010. Pyramid of Giza The Great Pyramid of Giza is a huge pyramid built by the ancient Egyptians. It stands 18.4 kilometers from the capital of Egypt, Cairo. It is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and the only one to remain mostly intact. When it was built it was 146.5 meters tall, and it was built as a tomb for King Khufu who was the second pharaoh of the fourth dynasty in the Old Kingdom period, Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is a wrought iron tower that has a height of 324 meters. It was designed for the Exposition Universelle, a world fair held in Paris in 1889. It is currently the most famous symbol of Paris, Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is a 93 meters tall statue located on Liberty Island in Upper New York Bay, off the coast of New York City. The statue is a personification of liberty in the form of a woman. She holds a torch in her raised right hand and clutches a tablet in her left. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from the French in 1876 commemorating the alliance of France and the United States during the American Revolution, Twin Towers. The Twin Towers were two large square buildings in New York City. They were part of the World Trade Center, which consisted of seven buildings that had a ton of room for office jobs. They were opened in 1973, and in September 2001, the Twin Towers would be hit by two planes hijacked by Islamic terrorists and would fall down to their end, killing thousands of people who were inside of them. The Twin Towers were both 415 meters tall, and with the first Twin Tower already rebuilt, it now stands at a 546 meters height, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is an American national memorial established in 1925 consisting essentially of four gigantic statues representing the faces of four presidents of the United States chosen for their emblematic sides. Each symbolizes a characteristic feature of the history of the U.S. Spring Temple Buddha. The Spring Temple Buddha is a giant statue located in China depicting Virachana Buddha. It was built from 1997 to 2008 and it is the second largest statue in the world, also, on a side note, the tallest statue in the world which is Statue of Unity in India is not in this iceberg for some reason, Sphinx of Giza. The Sphinx of Giza is a stone sculpture of a creature with a human head and a lion's body sculptured by the ancient Egyptians. It is the greatest monumental sculpture in the ancient world, its body is 60 meters long and 20 meters tall, Tarbella Dam. The Tarbella Dam is the largest dam in the world located in Pakistan with a length of 2,750 meters and a height of 143 meters. It was built in 1976. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is a 73 meters tall white marble mosque in central India, built between 1632 and 1643 by the Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his beloved wife. Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is an ancient wall in China. The wall is made of cement, rocks, bricks, and dirt. It was finished in 1878 and it was meant to protect the north of the Empire of China from enemy attacks. It is the longest structure humans have ever built, it is about 21,196 kilometers long, 9.1 meters wide and 15 meters high. Layer 2 Empire State Building The Empire State Building is a 443 meters tall skyscraper in New York City. It was named after the popular nickname for New York, 
the Empire State. The skyscraper was built in May 1931 and would be the world's tallest building until it was surpassed by the Twin Towers in 1970. Chrysler Building The Chrysler Building is a skyscraper in New York City that is 319 meters tall. It was completed in 1931, and from 1930 to 1931 it held the record as the world's tallest building until it was surpassed by the Empire State Building, 40 Wall Street. 40 Wall Street is a 283 meters tall skyscraper in New York City. The skyscraper was built in 1930 and would house many office using companies, and in 1995, Donald Trump bought the building and changed its name to Trump Building, Woolworth Building. The Woolworth Building is a 241 meters tall skyscraper in New York City. It was built in 1913 for the businessman Frank Winfield Woolworth for his company. The building was the tallest in the world from 1913 to 1930. Metropolitan Life Insurance Company Tower The Metropolitan Life Insurance Company Tower, also called MetLife Tower, is yet another 213 meters tall skyscraper in New York City. The skyscraper was built in 1909 and serves as the headquarters for the MetLife Company. It was the tallest building in the world from 1909 to 1913. Willis Towers the Willis Towers, formerly known as the Sears Towers, is a 442 meters tall skyscraper in Chicago. It was built in 1973 and was the world's tallest building from 1973 to 1998. The building did not do so well economically, and in 2009 it was sold by the company who owned it, and the tower was renamed to Willis Towers after the Willis Group Holdings Company, Taipei 101. Taipei 101 is a 508 meters tall skyscraper in Taiwan. It was completed in 2004 and was the world's tallest building from 2004 to 2009. The reason it has 101 in its name is because the building has 101 floors. Petronas Towers The Petronas Towers are two twin towers located in Malaysia. They are both 452 meters tall and they also have a sky bridge connecting them which is the highest two-story bridge in the world, located at a height of 170 meters. The towers were completed in 1999 and were the world's tallest buildings until 2004, however they still remain the tallest twin towers to this day. Colosseum The Colosseum is a large artifact located in Rome. It was built by the Romans during 70 AD and was completed in 80 AD. It had seatings for 50,000 people and it was used for gladiatorial contests, and other shows like animal hunts, in which animals would hunt and eat prisoners or in which gladiators would fight against animals. There were also executions of prisoners, plays, and battle scenes, sometimes it was filled with water to fight sea battles. The people of Rome could go into the Colosseum without any costs, it was free. In the Middle Ages, the Colosseum stopped being used and in 1349, it would be hit by an earthquake. It is the second most visited tourist attraction in Rome. Leaning Tower of Pisa The Leaning Tower of Pisa is a bell tower part of the Pisa Cathedral located in Pisa, in Italy. Construction began in 1173 and was interrupted many times due to wars or debts. The tower was leaning, but engineers couldn't fix it. And in 1370, after over 100 years since construction started, the tower was finally completed. It is one of the few buildings in the world to still be leaning and not falling. Layer 3 What follows is a boring segment of tall Buddhist statues, skip to this minute mark if you're not interested. Lekun Sekya Lekun Sekya is a Buddhist statue in Myanmar with a height of 13.5 meters. It started construction in 1996 and it was completed in 2008. As of today, it is the third tallest statue in the world, Sendai Daikanon. Sendai Daikanon is a Buddhist statue that is the sixth largest statue in the world located in Japan with a height of 100 meters, Guishan Guanyin. Guishan Guanyin is a bronze Buddhist statue located in China that is the eighth tallest statue in the world with a height of 99 meters being completed in 2009. Guanyin of Nanshan. 
Guanyin of Nanshan is a Buddhist statue located in China that is the 15th tallest statue in the world with a height of 78 meters, with the statue completed in 2005. Ushiku Dabitsu. Ushiku Dabitsu is the world's sixth tallest statue located in Japan with a height of 100 meters being completed in 1993. Bronze Statue of Dasong at Mount Jiuwa. Bronze Statue of Dasong at Mount Jiuwa is another Buddhist statue located in China that is the world's eighth tallest statue with a height of 76 meters being completed in 2012. Grand Buddha at Lingshan. Grand Buddha at Lingshan is another Buddhist statue in China that is the world's 14th tallest statue with a height of 79 meters being completed in 1996. Great Buddha of Thailand. Great Buddha of Thailand is a Buddhist statue in Thailand that is the world's ninth tallest statue with a height of 92 meters being completed in 2008. Ryugyong Hotel, North Korea. The Ryugyong Hotel is a large skyscraper in North Korea shaped like a pyramid, and has a total height of 330 meters. Construction started in 1987, but in 1992 it was halted because the lack of materials and financial aid. Construction resumed in 2008 and the hotel was finished in 2011. It was never and still isn't occupied, earning its title as the tallest unoccupied building in the world. Not only that, but the floors are made of concrete which makes the skyscraper very dangerous as concrete doesn't hold as much weight as steel does. So today, the hotel is only used to showcase animations, news, etc. To North Koreans it looks like a great thing, but to outsiders, it is clearly just another foolish attempt of a communist ruler to make the outside world think North Korea is a beautiful place to live in, a Brajau Bait, Mecca. A Braj al Bait is a series of seven skyscrapers in the city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia, if you haven't noticed yet, the skyscrapers are all connected to each other, which makes them one big building. The building has a height of 601 meters and is the fourth tallest building in the world with its iconic clock tower. It started construction in 2004 and was completed in 2012, and it is also the tallest clock tower, being four times the size of Big Ben in England. Warsaw Radio Mast, destroyed in 1991. The Warsaw Radio Mast was the tallest radio mast ever with a height of 646 meters. It was constructed in 1974 in a town in Poland, and was such a powerful radio mast at the time, that Polish radio could be heard in Canada or the US. In 1991, the radio mast fell down because the cable snapped off, it would look something like this, but just much taller. Layer 4 The Two Towers The Two Towers are two medieval structures in the city of Bologna in Italy. So in medieval Bologna, a lot of towers were built by the city's rich families to demonstrate their power. A lot of these towers later collapsed or were demolished in the following centuries, and today, only 22 still remain, the most popular ones being these two towers, which are a symbol of the city of Bologna. Lincoln Cathedral. The Lincoln Cathedral is a cathedral in England which has a height of 190 meters which makes it the tallest cathedral in the world. It started construction in 1072 and was completed in 1311. Although not official, a lot of historians claim it was the tallest building in the world for 238 years, claiming the title from the Great Pyramid of Giza, until the spire collapsed in 1548. St. Peter's Basilica. St. Peter's Basilica is the largest church in the world located in the Vatican City. It started construction in 1506 by Pope Julius II and was completed in 1615 under Pope Paul V. Pope Julius II decided to build the church to commemorate the martyrdom of St. Peter by building a church on the site of his tomb. It has a height of 137 meters and is 150 meters wide. Rylan Guanyin Statue Rylan Guanyin Statue is a Buddhist statue located in Hong Kong that is the world's 19th tallest statue with a height of 76 meters. Jeddah Tower Jeddah Tower is an unfinished skyscraper currently on hold in Saudi Arabia in the city of Jeddah. Like the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia has a massive development work in large things. Anyways, 
This skyscraper is planned to be the first one kilometer skyscraper in the world, however the exact height is currently being kept private, we can expect it to be no more than 1100. Construction started in 2013, but it was halted in 2017 due to labor and politics issue in Saudi Arabia. The skyscraper is still on hold, and 664 meters have been completed as of now. It is expected to be completed after 2025, so don't think you're gonna see the new tallest skyscraper in these three years, Airbus A380. Airbus A380 is a large aircraft that can seat to 500 passengers. It was developed by Airbus and its first flight was in 2005, and in 2007, the plane was officially in service with Singapore Airlines. Over the years, Emirates has bought a ton of A380s, being Airbus's largest buyer. However, in 2021, production of the A380 stopped because it's costly to run. Dubai Creek Tower Dubai Creek Tower is an observation tower that is to be built in Dubai. The exact height is unknown, but it's around 1,300 meters. Construction started in 2016, but no construction would be done from 2018 on, meaning construction is currently on hold. The reason they decided to build yet another tall building is because of the rivalry between Dubai and Saudi Arabia to have the world's tallest building. As I talked about earlier, Saudi Arabia was working on the first one kilometer skyscraper and would steal the title as the world's tallest building from Dubai. And it's no surprise that Dubai will do anything to keep that title, as it brings millions of tourists in their country which is a big part of the economy. The Illinois, the Illinois, also known as the Mile High Illinois, was a proposed one mile high skyscraper by architect Frank Lloyd Wright in his 1957 book, A Testament. It would have a total height of 1,730 meters. If it was indeed built, it would be the tallest building even today. International Space Station The International Space Station is a multi-nation construction project that is the largest single structure humans ever put into space. Its main construction was completed between 1998 and 2011. Its purpose is to enable long-term exploration of space and provide benefits to people on Earth. It is a symbol of space cooperation and how space technology has evolved over the decades. That's all for part 1 of this iceberg, if you liked this iceberg, make sure to subscribe in order to get notified when part 2 comes out, until then, that's all, goodbye.